जन्मा कशत सदादरयुजा भक्त सराधि भक्तवैदिकलक्षण विधिना संतुष्ट स्वयं साक्षात्ीगुरपमेतृपया दृग्गोचर सन्भु तत्व साधु विबोध्यता संसार दुखाबा तत्व साधु विबोध्यता संसार दुखाबाव्यापकमीयमजरम वेदातज्ञात द्वंद्वास विवर्जित भवहर शांति प्रदिना कर्मा कर्म विकर्म हीनमल त्रैगुण्य विच्छेदक ध्यात ब्रह्म सदा प्रशात मनसा भक्त श्रद्धया ध्यात ब्रह्म सदा प्रशात मनसा भक्त श्रद्धया शांति पाठ ओप्यायंत मंगा वाक् प्राणश्चक्षुश्रोत्रमथो प्राणश्चक्षुश्रोत्रमथो बलमिंद्रियाणि च सर्वाणि बलमिंद्रियाणि च सर्वाणि सर्वं ब्रह्मोपनिषदं सर्वं ब्रह्मोपनिषदं माहं ब्रह्म निरा ब्रह्म निराकोदराकमस्तु अनिराकमस्तु तदात्मनिरते यौपनिषत्सु धर्मास्ते मयि सन्तु ते मयि सन्तु ओ शांति 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 हरि वी शुड नॉट फॉरगेट हियर वी आर सेइंग आप्यायंत ममांगा वाक् प्राणश्चक्षु श्रोत्रमथो बलमिंद्रिया च सर्वाणि here when we are asking for nourishment it is not just bodily nourishment like that the nourishment is for increasing the sattva guna in us so that we can re- receive we can grasp the brahma vidya the knowledge and we can retain it we become a fit 
receptacle of brahma vidya we ask we pray for the nourishment of that kind that we should not forget now we will go to the third chapter just repeat and then go to the fourth chapter shall we continue is there any problem you go you reduce the base here see i have increased the base there in the channel the low frequency have increased you put it 12 o'clock position brahma deve bhyo vidigye ब्रह्मणो विजये देवा महीयंता अस्माकमेवा विजयो अस्माकमेवा महिमे अस्माकमेवा विजय अस्माकमेवा महिमे तेभ्यो प्रादुर्बूव तन्नव्यजानत Now I will read the Anvaya the way we have given, so that it becomes prosaic and meaning also along with that we will do. Brahma ha deve bhya vidigye. Brahman, the eternal truth, Atma Brahman. They by he he actually got the victory for the devas because. otherwise the negative powers were becoming too stronger over the world so to make the devas win against the asuras brahma designed it so that the devas win but tasya brahmanah vijaye devah a mahiyantah but what happened is that although it was brahmanas brahmans victory the devas all thought that it is our power it is we who have won the war with the asuras and it is our glory te aikshanta they thought i am vijayah asmakam eva this victory is our victory ours asmakam eva i am i am mahima iti the whatever glory we have got by this victory it is ours only ब्रह्म एषाम तत् मिथ्ये क्षण और अहंकार वी हेव गिवन अहंकार विजज्ञ ब्रह्म ब्रह्म केम टू नो द ट्रूथ इटर्नल न्यू दैट दे आर इगोइस्टिक दे आर रॉन्गली बिकमिंग इलेटेड अबाउट इट तेभ्य स प्रादुर्बूव so he appeared amongst them why did he take this step because if the devas become egoistic if they boast about their power then they will not be able to perform well so the purpose for which brahman make them win so that in the world the satya pratishtha takes place the proper the good forces the they win over the evil forces but if the good forces they 
develop ego and start boasting about their own power then actually they will not be able to do the proper work so again the evil forces will win because it is also ego is also part of the evil forces asura shakti shakti so devas although they are devas they will actually play for the asuras by becoming the, this if you see in the national and the world picture also this is what happens even those who take the position of uh subduing the evil forces in the world they become so egoistic that they start they start ruling over others in the wrong manner also is it not what is america doing so understanding that he had to save the forces so he had to see that the devas do not become so egoistic about the victory to treat their ego to treat their ahankara their mithyekshana mithyekshana means mithya ekshanam that means their wrong thinking to treat their wrong thinking he appeared amongst them he appeared as yaksha word is used that means as a spirit it is not a gross material srishti but appears in a form which is un, which is not seen anywhere so that the even the devas who are su- supposed to be the subtle powers they also do not know that means it is another kind of subtle power which they devas do not know so he appeared amongst them tat brahma तत् ब्रह्म दृष्ट्वा अपि इदम् यक्षम् किमिति देवाः न व्यजानत सीइंग दैट यक्ष द देवास कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दे डिड नॉट नो हु इज दिस पिक्युलर और दिस स्ट्रेंज अपीयरेंस थर्ड अनवर्ड विल गो ते अग्निम् अब्रुवन् जातवेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदेदे
ಜಾತವೇದಾವಾಹಮಸ್ಮೀತಿ ಸೊ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ದಟ್ ಯಕ್ಷ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ತಮ್ ಅವ್ಯವದತ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ದಟ್ ಯಕ್ಷ ಸೆಡ್ ಕಹ ಅಸಿ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಯು ಹಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಅಗ್ನಿರ್ವ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಂಡೀಡ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಅಹಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಅಹಂ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಇತಿ ಜಾತವೇದ ಅಹಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಜಾತವೇದ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಾತವೇದ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಟೈಟಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೀಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅನದರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಪುಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೆಡೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶೋಸ್ ದ ಈಗೋ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾನ್ ಟು ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ claiming whatever he is and all but he has to say who he is also he has asked who he is but the way he is saying this why why that means that yes i am that indeed that expression has been put like that that egoistic expression tasmim stai kim viryamati kim viryamiti apidam tasmim stai kim viryamiti ತಸ್ಮೀಸ್ತಯಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ವೇ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಜಾತಭೇದ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯೋರ್ ಕ್ರೆಡೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ತಸ್ಮೀನ್ ಸ್ತಯಿ you are this that you are in you tvai means saptami in you what is that great power what is that viryam in you so agni said that whatever is there on the prithvi actually not only prithvi in the everywhere whatever is there i burn them i can burn everything so what did yaksha do ತಸ್ಮೈ ತೃಣ ನಿದಧೌ ತಸ್ಮೈ ತೃಣ ನಿದೇತಿ ತದುಪ್ರಿಯಜವೇನ ತಶಾಕದಗ್ಧು ಸತೇವಿತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತೇತ
he could have asked the yaksha who are you? when he failed are i have failed then who are you? that shows that he has still greater power he said anything in the world i can burn and he was not able to burn a blade of grass naturally will he not immediately strike his mind that here there is somebody standing in front of me who is more powerful than me he should immediately prostrate and ask mahadev Mah- maharaj who are you they like for, that they have forgotten for what they went <laughs> this is what i was showing uh, t- telling the other day about baba and kshitish chandra dev that baba failed in the magic he was telling what is there in their mind by holding the wrist in case of kshitish chandra dev when he pr- extended his hand baba could not say anything twice thrice he tried he could not so he failed now what will be the result of the failure here is somebody who knows more than this everybody i am able to tell what is there in the mind and here is somebody i am not able to know his mind so he must be having some other power so he tagged himself behind him go on went on asking what is this what is that and then it led to the diksha finally see all these things if you just read nothing you will not be able to even read it is so but you have to think and get i mean hammer our brain to find out what is it what is it what why have they written what is this sadhana what is the sadhana there atha bayum abruvan na have i missed anything no hmm. it is 7th uh, अथ वायुतमी देन दे टोल वायु द नेक्स्ट power is vayu the devas told vayu abruvan it is plural vay he vayo etat bijanihi you now go and know who is this yaksha vayu vayu said tatheti seeing agni coming back also vayu thought that agni does not have power but i can my power i can sweep it over i can sweep everything i can take everything maybe he felt all the more inspired to go because agni has felt failed because it is written that they were boasting with each other also not here they were boasting that whose power by whose power we have won that will always be there there are so many other powers that actually we also even in discussion also no no i told him before and that is why it has happened another person will say no you don't know previous day itself i told we say like that that we try to take the credit of whatever good is happening and if it is going bad then we try to put it on others that you did it you told that is why it has happened so these are normal tendencies everybody has in us also we have तदभ्यद्रवत सॉरी तदभ्यद्रवत तमभ्यवदत कोसीति तमभ्यवदत कोसीति वायुर्वा 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 अहमस्मीत्य ब्रवीत मातरिश्वाहमस्मीति इट इज एक्सैक्टली सिमिलर दट हि वेन्ट नियर अद्रवत मीन्स हि वेन्ट नियर एंड सीइंग हिम ब्रह्मन आस्ट हिम तम अव्यवदत टू 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 हिम दट को असी हू आर यू नव हि सेज वायुर्वा वायुर्वै ऐ एम द वायु and not only that i am also called matarishwa means vayu vayu is i had written down i have forgotten everything now vati iti vayuhu 
वायु द वा धातु एक्चुअली इट मीन्स गमना एंड ऑल्सो इट मीन्स गंध ग्रहण दैट वायु एक्चुअली टेक्स द फ्रेग्रेंस द गंध फ्रॉम एवरीवेयर एंड स्प्रेड्स एवरीवेयर फ्रॉम द फ्लावर्स फ्रॉम द गार्बेज ऑल्सो सो इट सीम्स द वा धातु मीन्स बोथ दैट इट इज चलती गमना एंड इट कलेक्ट्स द फ्रेग्रेंस एंड द स्मेल फ्रॉम एवरीवेयर वाती मीन्स चलती Vati means chalati. Vati iti vayuhu. This is the vyutpatti. And matarishva, the vyutpatti is matari shvayati iti matarishva. This I, uh, we have not written there. Na? Matari shvayati. Shvayati also means goes. That means it pervades the whole antariksha. Mother of everything. Matari means in the mother. Mother of everything. The space is the mother of everything. in the space everything is hosted so why you goes everywhere in the space is the idea so who pervades everything so see the both way it is great power why you also has great power so he also showed as agni showed two certificates why you also showed two certificates this is what i am तस्म किं वीमतिद दिस इज इफ दिस इज वॉट यू आर इन यू वॉट इज द ग्रेट पवर यू हेव सर्वीय यदिद पृथिव्या Prithiviyam means saptami. Whatever is there on this earth, I can take them away. But you can sweep them away, take them away. Tasmai trinam nidadha ve tad. Tasmai trinam nidadha. Na. Tasmai trinam nidadha ve tadadas. We will split it easier. Tasmai trinam nidadhu. Tasmai trinam. आदत्व मीन्स यू टेक इट आदत्व लोट the uh, bivaktis i have already discussed yesterday na is it not done all not for this no not for this class. acha we will do it later let us now go on but the, yesterday did i not complete this portion third is it hmm tadupapriyaya तदुपेया सर्वजवेन सो वायु रैन टुवर्ड्स द ब्लेड ऑफ ग्रास विथ ऑल हिज पावर ऑल हिज गति स्पीड विथ ऑल हिज स्पीड जवाब मीन्स एक्चुअली स्पीड तन्न शशाका तुम तन्न शशाका दातुम तन्न शशाका दातुम तत् शशाका तत् आदातुम न शशाका तत् आदातुम न शशाका ही कुड नॉट टेक इट आदातुम मींस टेकिंग ही डिड नॉट सक्सीड अ शशाका शशाका न शशाका ही डिड नॉट सक्सीड इन टेकिंग दैट ब्लेड ऑफ ग्रास सतत निवृते ही केम बैक फ्रॉम देयर एंड टोल द देवास नई तदशक विज्ञा यदे तद्यक्षमिति नई तदशक विज्ञा यदे तद यदे तद्यक्षमिति यदे तद्यक्षमिति अच्छा दिस 
we have done the Anvaya up to 3.9, 3.10 we have not done. Is it so? Iti Adatsva, take this. Adatsva is uh, Lot Madhyava Purusha Ekavachanam. Where have I written all these things? I had written it down. Hmm. It is Atmanepadi. Atmane Lot Madhama Purusha Ekavachanam Atmanepadi. E tat adatsva, take this. Iti uktva yakshaha tasmai trinam nidadhau. Saying that the yaksha kept the blade of grass in front of vayu. Vayuhu sarvajavena tat trinam upapreyaya. Vayu sped towards the trina with whatever power he had, with the speed he had. Parantu tat adatum na shashaka. But he could not take it. He did not succeed in taking him, taking the blade of grass. Yat etat uh, ataha saha tataha nivabrite. Nivabrite we have come across earlier also. And this I have told. So that need not be repeated. Same verbs are coming again and again. You should do the homework of writing all these things clearly because we have worked a lot to find out this. We are not knowing Sanskrit, so it is difficult. So, unless you write it down very clearly as homework, the full, uh, the um, anvaya is already given. So, by the side, each verb, their conjugation and all, everything, if you write down, then it will be a great help. Whenever you read, you can go into it. And the meanings also, the vipattis, the etymological meanings, Side by side in this paper, there is enough space we can write down. It will take time and you will find that such work will make your brain very orderly. Whenever we do such work with full dedication and full uh, concentration, after that you will find that you have a very peaceful feeling, stable feeling, because it orders the brain. Normally we are thinking always, Erratically, irregularly, so many things are coming. We remain in a disturbed state. So, one of the great benefit of this kind of study, particularly when we are doing it alone, a self-study, it's a great sadhana of making the whole being integrated. We get integrated. Even when we keep our things in the office or in the room properly, listed properly, organized, everything we clean up and keep properly, you will find there is a cool dawning in our brain. It should happen. It, normal, any sensitive person, it should happen. Is it not? If you can organize, it will definitely happen. Inter internal integration will take place. Now, they asked Indra, now, Indra is regarding this. Indra word has many meaning. In Shabda Kalpadruma, I found about five, six pages. I mean, there are so many kinds of references and meanings. Basically, Indra is almost equated to Parameshwara. It's the all powerful Lord because he is the Lord of the Devas. Indra is Devaraja, Devaraj Indra. The Devas means all the subtle powers we'll, we have, they are all Devas. The Vayu, Varuna, Agni, they are all Devas. And Indra is Lord of them. That means he is having the power to control everything. Not only that, Indra is also noted for his... Uh, his other name is Maghavan. Maghavan. Here it will come. Maghava. Maghavan also has got different meaning. One is the who has great power, that meaning is there. But other than that, it means worshipable and worshipful both. That is, it can be interpreted as one who worships and who is worshipped also. Both ways. 
because in the other story we discussed the other day from chandogya upanishad there also the indra virochana there you found that indra is thoughtful indra is not foolishly doing like virochana even here agni vayu they are just one uh, what shall i say that they are less jada power those who are not thinking they are doing whatever in a uh, hard headed manner like a bull but indra will be always thoughtful in his ways he is generally thoughtful but there are mythological stories various kinds where indra's other qualities also discussed but generally in upanishad when we are discussing indra he is regarded as a thoughtful person as in the other story you find that when they were going back indra never reached back the devas after the first instruction from brahma Virochana went back and started preaching the devas. Not only he went back, he started lecturing the devas, a eh, asuras. Whereas Indra went back with the instruction, but he did not even reach the devas. Came back again that I have a doubt. Again, thirty-two years. Again, he instruction he took, but before reaching the devas, he again turned back that I have a doubt. Like that, three times, thirty-two years plus five years, he stayed again. that means he is tenacity he really wanted the knowledge he was eager to have the knowledge and he was not satisfied with whatever initially he may think that yes i have understood but then when he does manana does manana no still it is not appearing to be like that guru said that the atma is never changing it never gets affected it never gets tainted but i feel that i am getting tainted i am getting affected then i have not understood the atma again go back like that so ha uh, that is uh, 311 na no? athendram abruvan athendram abruvan maghavanne tadvijani hi मघवन्ने तद्विजानी मघवन्ने तद्विजानी किमे तद्यक्षमिति किमे तद्यक्षमिति अथ इंद्रम अब्रुवन दे टोल्ड इंद्र मघवन ओ मघवन एतद्विजानी प्लीज नो किमे तद् यक्षमिति व्हाट इज दिस यक्ष इज देयर सेम एज अर्लियर तथे ति तदभ्यद्रवत तथे तदभ्यद्रवत सेइंग तथा इति वेल आई विल गो सेइंग दैट ही वेंट नियर द यक्ष वेंट नियर वेयर द यक्ष वाज अपीयरिंग तस्मा तिरो दधे हियर द चेंज हां तस्मादे तिरोधाना तिरोधाना मीन वैनिशिंग गोइंग बैक एपियरेंस एंड प्रादुर्भव प्रादुर्भाव बभुवा वेर दे वॉज राइजिंग कमिंग एपियरिंग एंड तिरोधाना मीन्स गोइंग अवे तिरोधे इट इज विदिंग प्रणति तिरोधे इज इट लिट और विदिंग tirodade will be lit it should be let us so this time it did not happen the same way that he went and then brahman asked that who are you what is your power and they declared their power then brahman tested it they failed and their ego was hurt by that their ego was um what do you say ego was humble hmm. now in this case the appearance simply vanished now what indra did he remained there thinking about who is that yaksha actually shankaracharya writes he meditated because this was the nature of indra he was 
puja shila so he wanted to know he has come what is what is that indra what is that yaksha so the yaksha vanished then he kept he closed his eyes and started thinking meditating on the yaksha that who is that yaksha then in the same akasha the upanishad says only that that in the same akasha in place of the yaksha haimavati uma appeared प्रथम पुरुष आत्मने पदी न सतस्मेवाकाशे श्रीयजगाम सतस्मेवाकाशे स्त्रियमाजगाम स्त्रियमाजगाम बहुशोभम बहुशोभमानाम मां हैमवतीं बहुशोभमानाम मां हैमवतीं बहुशोभमानाम मां हैमवतीं ताम हो किन्मय सह इंद्र तस्वशे तस्ज सप्तमी तस्काशे तस्व आकाशे इन दट सें स्पेस एक्चुअली दिस आकाश इज चिताकाश इन हिज मैंड वेर द स्पिट वॉज सीन देर इट सेल इट इट अरोज सह इंद्र तस्व आकाशे बहुशोभम स्त्रिय प्रादुर्भूता दृष्टि आजगाम आजगाम ना प्रादुर्भूत दृष्टि एखे ना दिल इन दैट सेम स्पेस पावर जस्ट लाइक द माला इन नचिकेता स्टोरी or it can be something some uh, shobha which is not available anywhere and he she is haimavatim that means himavatah kanya that is haimavati also has several meanings that it is mahadeva's consort durga or parvati also it is himavan's daughter and in upanishads and veda haimavati is used for vidya and particularly brahma vidya that haimavati that is why uh, what is his name uh, shrimat anirvan his name was nirvanananda saraswati you have heard of him he's a very famous saint his name was nirvanananda saraswati but when arvin arvind shri arvind saw him he said that what nirvanananda you are anirvana nirvanananda means who takes uh, in moksha who takes delight in moksha nirvana but shri arvind said that you are anirvana that means who never gets extinguished the flame which never gets extinguished so he was known as shrimat anirvana although he was a sanyasini 
So his place where he was staying, he had named Haimavati because he was a great pandit in the Vedas. He has written Veda Mimamsa, all the Vedas, interpretation on Vedas and all. Very learned person. So he had given his place name in Calcutta where he was staying, Haimavati. So here Haimavati is used for Vidya, Brahma Vidya. That is why it is Bahushovamana Umam. Uma also has got uh, etymological meaning, which means uh, Shiva's concert, consort. That meaning Um Um refers to the Shiva. I have not written. Have you written anywhere? No, no. Um Ah or something. Tam ho vaja, Tam ho vaja, Kime tad yakshamiti, Kime tad yakshamiti. To that female form, to Uma, Indra asked, Who is this yaksha? That yaksha who appeared here and who vanished again, who showed us for a moment his appearance and then vanished. Who is that Yaksha? Then Haimabhati Uma tells him that that is Brahman. That will come in the next chapter. Jagama means going. When? And A Jagama means appeared. This we should remember. Wherever that A prefix is there, it gets reversed. Gamana means going. Agamana means coming. That Gam Dhatu Sehi, from that only it has happened. Jagama. Jagama is lung, no? Or it is again lit. Jagama is huh? lit. Jagama is lit. A Jagama also is lit. That is, he appeared. She appeared, sorry, not he. Hey, this Pradur Bhutam Drishtu Atatumi at Kurachikyokana, that was wrong actually. You have added it there, no, no? No, it was done later, not added. Now, we will go to the fourth khanda. Fourth, have you given the papers? This is only one page, it's over, na? the fourth khanda is over in that. Let us read and then again we will come back with the uh, um, Anvaya and all. First let us read the mantras. Chaturtha Khandaha Sa Brahmeti Ho Vacha Sa Brahmeti Ho Vacha Brahmano Va Etad Vijaye Mahi Adhvamiti Brahmano va etad vijaye mahi adhvamiti. Brahmano va etad vijaye mahi adhvamiti. Tato haiva vidancha kara brahmeti. Tato haiva vidancha kara brahmeti. Siddhanvaya. Sa uvacha ha. This ha is again 
it is there's no meaning it is sometimes referring to the past sometimes sometimes to emphasize सा उवाच हा एतत् ब्रह्म इति शी दट उमा हैमवती उमा सेड दट एतत् ब्रह्म इति ओ यू डिड नॉट नो दट दिस यक्ष इज एक्चुअली ब्रह्मन दट ब्रह्मन अपियर्ड इन दट रूपा क्या हुआ कुछ गड़बड़ है यू डिन गेट ब्रह्मण वै विजय यूयम एतत् महीयध्वमिति एक्चुअली द विक्ट्री इन विच यू आर फीलिंग ग्लोरिफाइड दैट विजय इज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मण वै विजय इट वाज एक्चुअली इंडीड ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मण विजय इट इज द ट्रूथ विक्ट्री यूयम मीन्स यू एतत् महीयध्वम iti you are feeling glorified by that tatah ha eva indrah vidanchakara vidanchakara again is lit lit ekavachanam prathama purushah but you should check it With this chakara chakara always it is lit seeing that i am saying but it has to be checked etat brahma iti so hearing from uma haimabati indra came to know that it was brahman that means although he was meditative he did not go back like the others like agni and vayu just showing their power he did not go back he wanted to know who is this yaksha and when yaksha vanished brahma vanished then he started thinking that what is this that showed for a nimesha for a muhurta for some flash of light it appeared and it vanished also it appeared and it vanished also who can be this so he meditated in that same akasha means where the yaksha arose there itself haimavati uma appeared with lot of i mean a beautiful with all kinds of ornaments and i mean adorned with various rupas bahushobham umam appeared uma is the i said here it is vidya rupini now it is hearing from uma indra came to know that it was brahman whereas what he should do that normally the revelation of the truth brahman should take place by indra's thinking only unless it is a revelation to ourselves by us guru can show you all the way can help you everything can be done but you have to realize that guru cannot do final realization you have to do guru can do everything so that it is you can be helped to the maximum but unless the jaggery you have tested if jaggery is told to be sweet this way that way i explain write a big handbook on jaggery that what is jaggery's taste but you have not put it on your tongue will you understand what is the taste of the jaggery but if you just put it on the tongue you have to test it if your guru tastes the jaggery and says will you know what is jaggery then it will not be known so here also indra's this realization is not a full realization it is from uma haimavati he is coming to know that what they interacted with and what they had seen it is actually the brahman itself so finally one has to meditate what indra did was true that meditated on that and enquired about who was that who was that and that is why vidya appeared hemavati appeared and showed him the path 
Finally, our mind has to take that Brahma Rupa. It will all come in the next chapter. In this fifth chapter, it has been discussed in detail. That two kinds, one he is saying that the kind of revelation had by Agni and uh, Vayu. Vayu, it is Vidyutvat, it is like a lightning. That is one kind of a knowledge but it is only just, it will remain only for an instant and go away. It will not be there. But the kind of revelation it should be is that by thinking the mind should become that. All these things will come in this chapter. And at the end, it is said, Shankaracharya particularly is emphasizing that, that the way it has been said, even a mandabuddhi will be able to understand something about Brahman and they will proceed towards it. In other words, I don't know, seeing this I feel that it is not written for the real, that is advanced sadhakas. Because suppose in Mundaka Upanishad, Katha Upanishad, the way the knowledge is presented, it will, it will automatically lead to a transformation in our mind. Shloka after shloka everywhere. But Kena Upanishad is not like that. Only one or a few shlokas are like that. Particularly two, three shlokas are really important. The others, mostly this story, this way, that way, it is only making you understand that it is the highest thing. For it, it you have to pursue, you have to persevere. It is not at all easy. Even the devas in the heavens, they also cannot attain it. And ego is the greatest obstacle on this path. Only because Indra could get rid of the ego and be humble before Haimavati Vidya, he could have the knowledge of it given by Uma. The others did not have it like that. So all these things will come. We will stop today or shall we proceed further? Uh, the uh, Slokas we can do further today. No? 4.1, did I do the Anmaya? Yes. Huh? 4.2. Shankaracharya has written quite a lot on Indra here. Hmm. 4.2 This is Tritya Khanda. We will repeat from the first and then go over to the second. Sa Brahmeti Ho Vacha Sa Brahmeti Ho Vacha Brahmano Va Etad Vijaye Mahi Mahiyadvamiti Brahmano Va Etad Vijaye Mahiyadvamiti Tato Haiva Tato Haiva Vidan Chakara Brahmeti Vidan Chakara Brahmeti Tato Haiva Vidan Chakara Brahmeti Tasmadva ete deva Tasmadva ete deva Tasmadva ete deva Tasmadva ete deva Atitaram ivanyanyan ivanyan devan Atitaram ivanyanyan Tasmadva ete Na devaha, atit, it's okay. Tasmadva ete devaha. Tasmadva ete devaha. 
ಅತಿತರಾಂದೇವಾಯುರಿಂದ್ರಸ್ತೆ ಪಸ್ಪರ್ಶುಸ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಥಮೋ ವಿಧಾಂಚಕಾರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇತಿ we will read the anvaya 1 and 2 sa uvacha ha the uma said etat brahma iti brahmana vai vijaye etat mahi advam iti tatah ha eva indraha vidanchakara etat brahma iti ete devaha we are bringing the last to the first here ete devaha indraha agnihi vayuhu enat enat means referring to brahma enat brahma hi nedishtham pasparshuhu te hi prathamah enat yaksham brahma iti vidanchakara tasmat vai te anyan devan ಅತಿತರಾಮ ಇವ ಹಿ ಅತಿತರಾಮ ಇವ ಅತಿತರಾಮ ಇವ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ತಸ್ಮಾದ್ ವೈತೆ ಅನ್ಯಾನ್ ದೇವಾನ್ ಅತಿತರಾಮ ಇವ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ವಾಯು ಇಂದ್ರ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಸರ್ಪಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ದೇವಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬೈ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಏತೆ ದೇವಾ ದೀಸ್ ದೇವಾಸ್ ಇಂದ್ರ ಅಗ್ನಿ ವಾಯು ಏನತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಹಿ ನೇದಿಷ್ಠಂ ಪಸ್ಪರ್ಶು ಪಸ್ಪರ್ಶು ಇಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಲಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಸ್ಪೃಶ್ ಧಾತು ಸ್ಪೃಶ್ ಧಾತು ಸ್ಪೃಶ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಪಸ್ಪರ್ಶು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೂರಲ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಪಸ್ಪರ್ಶು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೂರಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇ touched brahman touched means actually it is not touched they came very nedishtham means very close closest it is superlative degree nediya neda nediyas nedishtha ned neda nediyas nedishtha vara variyas varishtha like that it is superlative degree that they came very close to brahman as if they touched brahman tehi prathamah enad yaksham brahma iti vidanchakara they are the first among the devas who came to know the brahman as yaksha the yaksha as brahman now agni and vayu they did not come to know him. they must have then listened to indra after indra got the knowledge he will come and say that this was brahman but for them it is only repentation nothing else because they did not know it is brahman and by their time they came to know brahman is gone is it not so suppose you don't recognize the guru then after the guru has left his body then you recognize oh i should have gone to him even otherwise also suppose you come after people often say that i should have seen him 20 years ago the 20 years has passed have passed so here actually this uh, in uh, vayuhu and agni they even if they came close to brahman they saw in a way they saw some kind of a form of brahman very close to and brahman himself came to take get, make them freed of their ego brahman himself took a form just like as we say that brahman takes the form of a guru to take take us to the knowledge we are chanting every morning the first verse janmane ka satai is the same meaning that he appears in manushya roopa to give us the knowledge and take us beyond ignorance exactly the same thing brahman had done 
that he appeared in the form of yaksha to remove their ignorance, their abhimana, their ahankara. But they came back with the ahankara, showing their power and get diff- got defeated. Even then it did not stri- strike them that it could be something more powerful. So they only came to know from Indra that what they saw is Brahman. So they will go on harping that I have seen Brahman, I have seen Brahman, I have seen Brahman. That is what happens. In meditation when we get uh, an experience, they get so... What do you call it? Can, uh, Huh? Nana. This is a very common word that uh, we become I satisfied. What is that word? Co- huh? Complacent. Huh. My brain has to be. <laughs> Nothing can be done. <laughs> they become so complacent. This complacency is a great obstacle in sadhana. So, they will say that I have touched Brahman or I have gone, gone close to Brahman, he spoke to me and all those things he will say. Who? Vayu and Agni. Vidhan Chakara Brahmaiti. So, although the Upanishad is saying that they are the superior amongst the Devas because they happen to see close, in the closest quarter, they happen to see Brahman. It is actually fully true of, not of them fully, and partly true of Indra, but not of these two. But still, they saw that Brahman did this mercy to appear before them, which they did, he did not do for others. So, they superseded all other devas that way. That part is okay. But at the same time, they should think that that great opportunity they missed. Ete Devaha, Indraha, Agnihi, Vayuhu, Enad Brahma, Hi Nedishtam Paspashuhu. Nedishtam means in the closest quarter. Tehi Prathamaha, Enad Yaksham, Brahma, Iti Vidhan Chakara. This Vidhan Chakara is Bahuvachanam, that we should remember. It is Bahuvachanam as well as singular, both. Because in lit it often happens like that. The other day also I said that Nidadhau, that is both in singular and plural. Hmm? Achha. Here it is same in Prathama by Ekavachanam and Bhavachanam. Must be. Because here it is Tehi Prathama Enad Brahma. Iti Vidhan Chakara. Whereas in the previous verse it is Indraha Vidhan Chakara. Check it. See whether it is true. Otherwise the Anvaya has to be changed. Actually uh, singular, there is no doubt. Sahi enat prathamo vidhan chakara brahmeti saha. In the plural te, it is not there, I think. Tanvaya has to be corrected. Tomorrow will be done. Is it not? Only singular, it is there. Saha hi enat prathamo vidhan chakara brahmeti. In the third verse. In the second verse, Tasmad Bayete Deva Atitaram Iva Anyan Devan Yadagnirvayurindraha Te Hi Te Ha Enat Nedishtam Paspashuhu Te Hi Enat Prathamo. Here it is there with Anjakara again. Te also is with Anjakara. So it should be same in singular and plural. You are not getting it? Oh, bhaag gai hai. Achha, dekhne ke liye gai hai. Then the third one. Did I read the third one? No. Oh, there is no time. So we will stop. In the third verse, he is emphasizing. In the third verse we will complete. It won't take much time. 
ತಸ್ಮಾಂದ್ರೋ ಅತಿತರಾಂ ತಸ್ಮಾಂದ್ರೋ ಅತಿತರಾಮಿವ ಅನ್ಯಾನ್ ದೇವಾನ್ ಸಹ ಸಹಮೋ ವಿಧಾಂಚಕಾರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇತಿ If you go into the Anvaya, Saha Indraha Hi Enath Brahma Nedishtham Pasparsha. Here it is not Pasparshuhu. There it was plural, so it was Pasparshuhu. Here it is Indraha, singular. So it is Pasparsha. He says now, after saying all of them, he is saying Indra knew Brahman from close quarters. So Tasmad Vai Indraha Anyan Devan Atitarama Iva. So he transcended, he trespassed all, I mean, he superseded all other Devas, including Agni and Vayu also, because he is the person who came and came to know about Brahman from Uma. Tatha Prathamaha Enat Yaksham Brahma Iti Vidhan Chakara Hi. Hi Naha Hi. Yenam. Hmm. so they have distinguished indra here that he transcended the other devas like agni and vayu also because he came to know of him in from close quarter we'll take it up again tomorrow because it, after this there will be adesha adi daivatam adhyatmik both adi daivata adesha and adhyatmik adesha that is upanishad is now closing it's the closing statements are coming this is over the story is over then after saying the disciple will say that tell me upanishad then he will say i have told you the upanishad then why did the disciple say again that tell me the upanishad that means some he is looking for some other sadhana connected to that what he wants to know so generally we find that suppose swami ji explains everything and tells then the seeker will ask but how swami ji it is like that that how when all that you have to do it and you have to see how it works so he again wanted to know what he should do then he says that to do tapasya you practice karma you practice satya the standard that very fundamental instructions are given at the last shloka what is the eh? om ma pyayantu mamangani om ma pyayantu mamangani vak pranas chakshu shrotramatho ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಿಷದ್ರಹ್ಮಿಷದ್ರಹ್ಮಿರಾಕುರಿಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಕರೋದನಿರಾಕರಣಮಸ್ತು ಅನಿರಾಕರಣ ಮೇಸ್ತು ಯದಾತ್ಮನಿ ತದಾತ್ಮನಿ ನಿರತೆಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು 
धर्मास्ते मई संतु ते मई संतु धर्मास्ते मई संतु ते मई संतु ओम शांति 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 ही ओम शांति 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 ओम शांति 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 ओके okay.